Glass Menagerie, again, a story of a family. Essentially a triangle, a mother and her two kids, and what is their relationship? Judy Ivey in um, Glass Menagerie, uh, a perfect casting um, for, for, for that part, for Amanda Wingfield, uh, and one of the great stage actresses that, that, that we have today. I've wanted to play this part since I was 18 years old. I read it in English class. Um, the teacher, who also happened to be my real mother, had us study the Glass Menagerie and had everybody read it out loud. And so I read Amanda, and I thought, if I do become an actress, I have to play this part. So I have thought about Amanda for longer than I'm going to confess. The play um, uh, famously is autobiographical. Tennessee Williams, his real name was Tom Williams, and his fictitious alter ego is named Tom Wingfield. And also famously, Tennessee Williams had a sister named Rose, who had severe mental illness. And the impulse for this play among many other things, is his survivor guilt. Tennessee Williams' language is absolutely lyrical. It is poetic, and yet it's real. In these characters' mouths, you feel those words coming naturally, as beautiful and as poetic as they are. In essence, Tom Wingfield, the authorial presence in the play, is the central character of the play. Yeah, it's Amanda Wingfield that audiences always end up talking about it as the dynamic center of the play. I was looking for a way to try to achieve what was Tennessee Williams' first desire, which was to put Tom in the center of the play. So what if we, in the production, treated the play autobiographically and imagined that the production takes place, the play takes place in the hotel room that Tennessee Williams actually wrote this play. It would just give me chills when, when I could just feel it, since I can't see the play, of how Tom would open doors and we would walk out the door and that would be the end of that memory. He would literally just close the door on you. And uh, so he controlled the entire storytelling. Is there anger? Yes. Is there rage? Yes. But there is buckets full of love. The family loves each other deeply, and if they didn't, the cost of leaving wouldn't be so high.